a serial cable for the Hedgeman. So you can see this diagram. This is normal fax cable, RJ11 connector from both sides. So <coughs> the numbering here, so this is the female connector, so this is the male. So to follow the number, imagine you are plugging this one like this. So that's mean this end starting from number one. So once you touch it like this, from here below will be number one, two, three, four, five, until six. So you need to trace the cable using black multimeter or something. You can put it this end, and this is the other end. This is uh, RJ11 to serial adapter. You can buy it from the local market. You can plug it here with the serial for the multimeter here on the other not the other end here. These cables, and then you number the colors. For example, the green one is number two or whatever. The red one. You write it like I did here. This one. <coughs> and the numbering for the serial is already mentioned here. If you can see, it's already numbered from one, two, three, four. So there is no confusion about this. So you need just to plug it just like this diagram. Okay. So we we'll just plug it on the switch, V24 port. And this is our serial to USB converter. We we'll just plug it. Okay. Just make sure that your serial, serial to uh, USB adapter driver is working fine. Check the device manager ports. Make sure this is normal. There is no warning or something. So mine here is COM3. So I will open Forty or any other software for serial connection. Choose serial. Choose. Com3 speed 9600 and open. So once I press enter, I able to again to the switch. So what the user admin default password is private as you know. Okay, then the command to clear the configuration, just enable command in the end, then clear config enter yes why enter oh without enter it's clearing so now the switch should be go to the factory default and you can able to access it using high uh, discovery from Hedgeman software and that's it